See, full on drama. What your problem is, is you don't stay true to your word. What you said was whoever he talks to, whoever goes into his chats, whoever associates with him, you'll block them. That's what you said. Well, there's people that were in your chat that talked to me, that associated with me. Not just panel. Stand your ground. Do it the right way. If you're going to stand your ground, do it the right way. Because I had a hell of a repertoire with Lanky Tor. And Smokey P said hi to me. And people in the chat were talking to me. But see, we talk, we, we, I talk to people behind the scenes. And you are so predictable. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And then you're going to run off this little... He did this and he did that. He, were you around in Facebook days? I haven't lost a channel. He should be in jail. He should be in jail. I would be if I committed a crime. I haven't done anything more than what you do, you dumb bitch. You are here to create a divide. I've been telling people this for months. You think you're clever, but you're not. This is how women, and this is how I know that you're a female... This is how women bully by character assassination. That's what you try to do. There's people out there that know that what you say about me is bullshit. Are you mad? You mad? I haven't done anything to my friends. Except for me at 180, we got into it. But I never told a one of them I would stop talking to them if they came to you. If they friended you, I never said that. I said, fuck that. And I said, I don't understand it. But I never told any of them, you can go here and you can go there. But your problem isn't only with me. You've got problems with Randy, who's tried to be friendly to you. Sam, Yaba, Marsha, all kinds of different people. Because you are a child. You are a child. And you attract an immature child up on your panel. Let me go get Rel. Rel's not fucking with it. He sees this shit. You know, Republican Ash, you're the one that came to me and told me that you thought Full On Drama called your parents twice and that you're scared of her. And I've also been told that Full On Drama is scared to death of Rel. So when I go up on his panel, or he comes up on mine, are you going to block him too? You want to play this fucking game with people. I see through it. That's why you need to try to kill whatever you can with me. Oh, he threatened to kill Ash. Nobody threatened to kill her. It's a fucking cartoon, you idiot. Oh, he threatened to kill me. No, I said full-on drama needs a bullet in the eye. You, that's a character, you fucking idiot. And then you did. Then, then, here's what you did. Here's what you did. Ash burped a couple times. Then you said something about. You said that's disgusting. You said something about how I disrespect women, but you told Honey Boo Boo to go suck my dick. That's exactly what go blowing is what you said. So you want to keep playing these fucking games? You're not going to last that long. And the only followers you're going to have, the only people that you're going to have on your panels is that immature idiot that was on your panel last night. Take a guess. Immature. 39, act like you're 12. He's done this and he's done that way back to Facebook days. No, bitch. 
I've only had problems on the internet since my son committed that crime that he committed. And don't count your blessing. You said I, I doxed kids in, your kids in your chat? No, I didn't. The only time I did that was up on my panel. And you keep on with this whole... As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, since you said that, Republican Ash had me on her panel and planned to have me up there again with Rel. Go block her? No, because you need somebody that's at your maturity level to be up on your panel with you, to act that way. Your maturity level. You can play these games all you fucking want. I am not going nowhere. No, I don't care if I have two followers. I'll make videos for myself. I don't care. And see, this that you just did last night was called out last week behind the scenes. That's how dumb you are. That's how dumb you are. Some people are too intelligent for their own fucking good. They're so intelligent that they're stupid. You pick it, everybody. You just want to be controversial because you have no life at home. None. You have no life at home. None. They probably don't like you around that house either. I'm glad. I, I, my opinion was that uh, uh, I should have called CPS. Well, you were wrong. You can't admit to that. You came on panel with me, dumbass. And when I asked you that question, you ran. I asked you that question. I said, can you just admit that you were wrong like the professional said? You were wrong. Wrong. People know that if you come in their chats and you don't get to take over the chats and you don't do what somebody wants, you'll do this and you'll do that. I booted you out of my chat and you came after my kids for it. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Oh, he doxed my child. Now, saying somebody's first name is not a dox. Idiot. And for the la first time last night, I heard Laura make some damn sense. She can say whatever she wants about me. I don't care. She don't even bother me. She don't bother me a bit because she used to be my friend. She made, she she built her drama channel on fucking with me like you, and then she moved the fuck on. She don't bother me. So you can, you can go on about I'm this and I'm that and I'm this and I'm that. The truth of the matter is, there's people that watch. And you can take a look at your likes and dislikes. Take, take a look at your likes and dislikes, dumbass. People don't speak out on you because they're afraid to. I'm not. Oh my God, if I say something about her, she might call CPS on me too. You're an idiot. You're always going to be an idiot. I did give you credit on a couple things, though. Sometimes you can be funny. You know how to edit a video pretty well. If I if I spent time on it, I could do that, too. Full-on drama 3.5 is me. It's done just like you. So you can run along now. You can run along now. The Republican Ash. Do we need to get Rel in the chat? Rel's not going to back you if you're wrong. He's not. You can't start shit with people and they go get real. Mm -mm. He's not going to do that. Ain't going to happen. You need to go get real. Do you think that you can talk shit to somebody and then when they come back get you go pick go get go get real? No. That's not going to happen. So the people that were on that panel last night, they don't really have a problem with me. They got problems with several people in this community. In this community. Randy and I don't get along. But they didn't deserve to be talked to that way. Diane didn't buy you. They didn't deserve none of that. And these people will get sick and tired of you on their fucking own. They will, eventually. And just like I, people kept telling me, just wait. Don't get upset about your, you know, your friends going over there. Because she'll show her own ass. Well, I was impatient and I couldn't wait. But you're showing your own ass. Because you're four. You're not however old you are. I know how old you are, but you're not you're not close to forty. You're like four fucking years old. In the head. 
And those are the only kind of people that you're going to get up on your panel with. You go, mm hmm. Ash, you think you're a fucking badass, don't you? You ain't shit. And neither is your bitch ass friend, full on drama. Oh, well, he's, he's basically threatening to kill her. He basically. Well, where do you see that? Now? And I took it down. I took it down because, you know, Amanda Lynn, Amanda Lynn threw a fit over it. No, it stays the fuck up. Report it. I'm just going to take it down and have a little respect for my former friend. No, it stays up. If you watch the video, the Dora video, and, and you'll see. She keeps playing with fire. She keeps playing with fire and she gets herself burnt. I'm not, I don't have to kiss nobody's ass. You're not kissing anybody's ass, are you? Oh, and Jane the Teach? You blocking me? And timing me out over and over and over again is what caused me to jump up on panel. And people say, oh, no, he stole that link. Lexi Lou said he stole that link. No, because in order for me to go up on the panel, she had to put me in the show. Now, I came over there last night, and I was having fun. Pisses you off doing a full-on drama. I was having a good time. And then Jane the Teach was a rogue wrench. I went over there to support Hello Starlight's channel. Single mom, she can use a couple dollars. And I drop off a super chat, and she immediately blocks me. And every time I go to Hello Star Starlights, I'll drop, I'll drop off some money. If she lets me over there, I'll do that. And there was a couple other times I tried to super chat, and she had me blocked. Blocked me completely from her channel, even though Hello Starlight said, No, don't block, just remove the comment. I wasn't leaving comments that were inappropriate. So, Jane to Teach, you need to stop and think about yourself, too. Because Hello Starlight clearly said, don't block, just remove the comment. But since I wasn't leaving any inappropriate comments, you decided to be a rogue wrench. How childish is that, Jane? You can't even follow the directions that were given to you by the, mo the, the, the host of the channel. Kept timing me out over and over. Does that make you feel better about yourself? And then you're going to ask me why I act like an ass? Now, luckily, I didn't take that out. On uh, well, You must have blocked my Brian St. John, but she fixed it. But you, I give I give a couple dollars to, to uh, Hello Starlight, and you block after that. She's a single mom. She might be able to, she might need a little extra. You know, she doesn't ask for it. But every time I go over there, I'll be sure and leave her a little something, something. I do that in Tracy's too. When Tracy lets me over there. I do that in Tracy's. I leave her a little extra. Because I can. That's not very mature, Jane the Teach. And Amanda's the one that snitched you out. Oh yeah, Jane the Teach kept doing it, kept doing it over and over. That means Amanda knew it too. Kept timing me out over and over, every little comment. Well, that's not what Hello Starlight wanted. You're not even following the, your own, the rules of Hello Starlight. If she didn't want me over there, Hello Starlight got no problems telling me to fuck off. None. So check your maturity level, Jane the Teach. And then you want to wonder why I come back at, at people. Oh my God, he's trying to, he threatened to kill Republican ass. Where at? Now, you guys, even Ash 274 is a little pissy at me. And that's okay, I'll get over that with her because at least, at least we got one thing clear with her. She goes where she wants, she says what she wants, and she's usually fair. But Linky and Tori and I, I were having a great conversation, and I guess she thought that I was picking at Linky Tor, and I wasn't. Linky's nice to everybody. I mean, I, I was there, you know, I was having, I was talking to Linky Tour, but I've also seen some of the comments that she's left about me, and that's all I said. That's fine, Ash 274, you haven't seen it all. So, full on drama, you can keep on playing your bullshit with these other people, but I see right fucking through you, and that's what you don't like about me. I see right through your fake ass. Pathetic. Pathetic. Y'all have a nice day. I was trying to have fun and get past this shit. 
and move on. See, I might get on something and stay on it for hard for a few days, but I get over things. I really do. People know that. I'm not half, I'm not even half of what this bitch over here says I am. I'm not. If you don't fuck with me, I won't fuck with you. And that's the way it works. That's the way it's going to continue to work while I'm here. That's the way it's going to continue to work. So don't say you will block anyone who talks to me, who associates with me. You did. You you limited it to who panels. That's not what you said a week ago, and I've done a panel with Ash since then, and Rel since then. And if I want if I want to coexist on here, I'm going to have to get along with Rel, and maybe we, instead of fighting with each other, maybe we can do some true crime stuff or some current event stuff. If if, if that's the way it's going to be, then that's the way it is. That's fine. I would rather get along with that guy than not. You guys are hypocrites. If you think that behind the scenes, see, Rel, Rel knows how to play it either way. He knows how to play it either way. He knows, he knows what's going on. He's not dumb. Gets things wrong, but he knows how to build a channel, and he knows what's going on. He's not dumb that, in that sense. But you're not going to be able to pick and pick and pick at me, and then I come back at you and go, oh, we're going to go get Rel. See, that's what that's how Ash got in this situation that she's in now. She thought that the RDA was going to have her back. And then they had that RJ guy up there, the Christian guy. He's supposed to be a Christian guy. Brian St. John, you're a, you're a disgrace the way you talk to women. He's up there with a Ross dog. Who puts videos of making limonade up there and, and cracks on women left and right? What a hypocrite! But there's the hypocrisy is real. The, ho the hypocrisy is real. I kind of think Ross Dog is a bitch. If you can make a video about somebody but not give him a chance to respond, hey, Ross Dog doesn't scare me. None of them do. I think there's a couple of them over there that got the hell of a lot of good sense. I like Cosmic. Cosmic's cool when Ross ain't around, but when Ross gets up there, he's a different story. And I'm not the only one that's ever said that. But full on drama, you're a piece of shit. You are. You are a sorry piece of shit. People don't hang on to me because they fear me. They hang on to you because they fear you. All these people, oh, we're scared of Brian. We're scared of him. Yeah, you fat bastard. Fuck you. You know, you don't do that. If you're really scared of somebody. You don't. You're a joke, full on drama. You're a fucking joke, and we called this behind the scenes about a week ago. We called it. You can ask certain people to share their texts. We called it. You're a big-ass baby. Pork chops and apple sauce. Apple sauce. Pork chops and apple sauce. Apple sauce. Pork chops and apple sauce. Sauce. Pork chops and apple sauce. Pork chops and apple sauce. Need that swell. <laughs> Ha 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 